In this video, I want to go ahead and take a look at another way that we can force straight lines here in Revell. That's going to be over here under Edit and Perspective Tools. So the idea here is that we're going to be working with perspective, and it's very similar to what we had with the ruler. However, you're going to see we have a choice between one point, two point, or three point perspective. Now, before I get too far into what these guys are and how they're different from one another, I want to talk a bit about these other options that we have here. Now, the first one that we see currently selected is lock horizontally. And what that means is that you can see there's a blue line down here at the bottom, and that blue line is our horizon line. If we were to go ahead and grab one of these control points, you can see very much like the ruler, we're able to move these guys up and down. However, these guys are gonna move directly across from each other on this line. The reason why is because we're set to lock horizontally. If we turn lock horizontally off, then we can go ahead and move these guys wherever we want. And you can see that the horizon line is going to move where these guys are. So if you wanted to create something with a tilted horizon line, all you need to do is turn off lock horizontally. If you turn this back on, it will automatically snap back to the lock horizontally. When you move one, it will move both because again, it's locked horizontally. Now, if you have your perspective set up the way that you want it set up and you don't want to accidentally change it by clicking on one of these guys, then what you can do is you can go over here and turn on the lock control points. When you do that, it's very much like the way the ruler worked. If I come over here and I try to click on this, you'll see nothing happens. As a matter of fact, I'll end up drawing out of that. So that's definitely not what you want. I'm gonna come over here and turn that off and then clear that out. And then finally, we have the option for freehand. So let me just go ahead and make a couple lines real quick, just showing how this works. I'm gonna go ahead and track back to this vanishing point. So you can see there's my straight line. If I were to come over here and make another line and try to jiggle up and down, you can see I can't jiggle up and down. It's forced, just like the ruler, to be a straight line. However, if I turn on freehand, I wanna be able to come back over here, begin to draw on that, and then I can jiggle up and down just like I did with the ruler. So the idea here is that you have a lot of the same functionality of the ruler with the addition of the lock horizontally. Now, typically speaking, my feeling is, is that you really wanna use the freehand for your final strokes. And typically when you're drawing with perspective, you're gonna do a lot of line work. And my advice would be to start with the freehand off and draw lightly, you know, just draw your, your perspective in whatever ways you need to in order to get the results that you need. And then once you're done with that, you can throw up a new layer, turn the freehand on, and then use whatever tool you want to draw your final lines with the nice hand variation that the freehand gives you. So that's the basics of working with the perspective in terms of these options. In the next video, I wanna go ahead and talk about the differences between one point, two point, and three point perspective. So I'm gonna go ahead and clear this off and we'll pick up from this point in the next video.